This video is about the large planet Betelgeuse, which belongs to the constellation Orion and forms the leftmost point. Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in Orion, but recently its brightness has been decreasing more and more. Astronomers and scientists assume that the star will implode in the near future. So the question is not if, but when. The star has been monitored since 1980. Below, we explain why Betelgeuse will implode, what a supernova is, and why this phenomenon is occurring. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and be excited for the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. What is Betelgeuse, and why do astronomers think it'll become a supernova? Over the past 100 years, Betelgeuse has lost more and more of its brightness. The star was one of the brightest stars in the constellation Orion. When stars lose brightness, this is an indication that a supernova is approaching. That stars lose brightness is not unusual in our solar system. In fact, many of them regain their brightness over time. But in the case of Betelgeuse, the star grew dimmer over time. Astronomers and scientists detected gravitational waves at Betelgeuse in recent years that originated from the constellation Orion, more precisely from the brightest star itself. Gravitational waves are always an indication that a possible supernova could be approaching. Since the star is huge, the supernova could even be visible from Earth. For comparison, astronomers say that Betelgeuse would reach the brightness of Venus, which you can also view from here on Earth. Why do stars lose brightness? Each star has its own brightness. Some stars always keep the same brightness, while others lose brightness over time or regain it again. These stars are called variable stars, to which Betelgeuse also belongs. Variable stars are of special interest to astronomers and scientists and are often studied. If a star loses too much brightness, this is often a sign of a possible supernova. In the case of Betelgeuse, astronomers are currently wondering when this supernova will occur. Many variable stars have different dimming and brightening periods. On Betelgeuse, there are usually about 425 days between these phases. December was the last dimming period. The scientists predicted correctly. In December, the star began to dim. However, this phase should always last only for a certain amount of time. Instead of regaining brightness, Betelgeuse continues to dim to the present day. Scientists compared the current results with past data and found that nothing like this has ever happened before. So, there is a hint of a supernova. What is a supernova? A supernova is a star that suddenly shows an increase in light and shines so brightly that it can be seen from the Earth. Enormous pressure builds up on the star due to gravitational waves, the atmosphere, or gas, which can cause a huge implosion. This would make the star shine up to a million times brighter than normal. But when it comes to such a supernova, scientists and astronomers can predict only with difficulty since the values and data, which were determined over the years with investigations, are not very precise. Is a supernova visible in the sky? Our Earth is in a constant state of change. Sea levels are rising and temperatures can also change by one degree each year. This has a significant impact on our environment and the conditions that prevail on Earth. The constellations in the sky, on the other hand, change so slowly that you can't see it with the naked eye. Whatever is going on down here, we are just a speck in the universe. The night sky will always follow the same patterns, showing us the same stars and reminding us of our fixed position among the heavenly bodies. Compared to the universe, the Earth is still very, very young. A human life is so short compared to the universe that we can't notice any changes in the sky at all. 
This reminds us again that we are only a very small point in the universe. Without a telescope, it would also not be possible to observe any changes in the sky at all. Telescopes also make one realize the dimensions that are taking place in our universe. Supernovas are among these changes. So with Betelgeuse, there could be a big implosion in the near future that we could possibly see in the sky. During January and March, the constellation Orion is very visible with Betelgeuse at its left outer edge. Betelgeuse was once one of the 10 brightest stars in the entire universe. But since October last year, it has been steadily losing its brightness. What could happen? Betelgeuse is also called a red large supergiant star. This means that the star is very large in terms of volume. Betelgeuse is 12 times the size of the Sun. In terms of mass, however, Betelgeuse is not one of the largest stars in the universe. The surface of Betelgeuse is cold compared to the other stars. Betelgeuse has been around for about 8.5 million years, which is a short time for a star. But currently, it looks like the star's existence may be coming to an end. Betelgeuse will die by a supernova and a big and bright implosion in the sky. This implosion is the result of a series of nuclear reactions by gas, the atmosphere of the star, and other factors, creating very strong pressure. You would even be able to see this supernova clearly from Earth. The implosion would be brighter than the moon and visible even during the day. After this implosion, Betelgeuse would no longer be visible. The debris, mass, and remnants of the star created by the supernova would be pushed out of the universe and the constellation Orion would then be missing its leftmost star. Why are the predictions so dire? There are several factors for a supernova. Nevertheless, since the star is still very bright, it's enormously difficult for astronomers and scientists to make accurate data and measurements that could possibly shed light on a supernova. The distance of 700 light years is also an immense distance, making research even more difficult. Betelgeuse was formed in the Orion Nebula and formed from many smaller stars. The star is also surrounded by other smaller stars. Accurate measurements can only be made on clear nights or days. Scientists are using a telescope with four different filters to collect various data about the star and its dimming. What happens next? Astronomers will continue to observe Betelgeuse and compare it to other telegrams of supernovae. If it gets dimmer and dimmer over the next two to three weeks, it could be a sign that something extraordinary is happening. Of course, there are many theories. This type of star is unstable, with huge nuclear reactions inside, leading to the formation of gas explosions and bubbles the size of the sun. The dimming could even be attributed to a clump of material on the surface of the star sinking below. The difficult part of the whole situation is that it is very difficult to model a supernova. What will a supernova look like? The star swells to its current size because it burns up the hydrogen in its core and switches to fusing helium instead. Once that is used up, it switches to carbon. When it burns through its silicon, that's the end of the line. All that's left is iron, but it can't fuse. Thus, the star lacks the necessary energy. The iron would then collapse, causing a supernova. The star implodes, releasing shockwaves and neutrinos, or ghostly particles, and blows the mass and remnants of the star into the far reaches of the universe. Astronomers estimate that it will likely become a condensed neutron star, but it could also turn into a black hole. Betelgeuse's supernova will appear as bright as a full moon in the night sky. You could watch this supernova in the sky for up to six months before Betelgeuse will be gone forever. It's even possible to see this spectacle during the day because the implosion will be so bright. For this reason, Betelgeuse will be observed around the clock. Many astronomers and scientists hope to be able to observe the supernova from the beginning. So far, 
no astronomer has succeeded in doing so. Since the planet is 700 light years away, if you could theoretically see the supernova in the sky today, it would mean that it happened 700 years ago. The supernova of Betelgeuse would be the first implosion of a star that would also be visible from Earth. Astronomers expect this extraordinary event to occur in the near future. On a clear day, you could see a supernova as bright as a full moon.